My 1991 GQ Patrol has seen better days. It's got dinted panels, bent guards, paint fade all over, and it's definitely looking its age. So I think it's time to give it a bit of a makeover. In this series, we're going to be doing a complete budget do-over of how the Fuss Patrol looks, including custom rear bar, custom side steps, modifying the bull bar, a full body respray, and a suspension lift. But first, we've got to take everything off. Okay, so this is probably a few months in the past. This video is probably not going to get uploaded for a few months because there's a lot of work to do. Um, but we've started stripping the patrol now, taking the rear bar off. The tent's just about to come off. We've undone all the bolts and everything, just waiting for the boys to get here so we can pull it apart. Uh, side steps will be coming off next, along with these things over at the front. We've taken the bull bar off. Uh, we've taken the grill apart and cleaned up some of the front here. In a couple of the other videos, you've probably seen that um, it overheats a lot, uh, especially when we're four-wheel driving and things like low speed, high revs. It's overheating. It always gets hot when you put it in four-wheel drive. It's very quite annoying. We found out that the problem with that is because the thermo fan was completely stuffed. We've put on a new one now. So the size of the fan is actually bigger than the old one. It's got more fans and it spins a bit faster. So we should stop having overheating issues now that we have an actual thermo fan. So the idea of the thermo fan is for this fan to spin so that it pushes air from the front of the car in through the radiator to cool down the engine so that when you're not moving and there's no wind to do it, the fan blows all the air in through that. So we'll stop our overheating issues now. So hopefully in the next hour or so, we're gonna have the roof rack off and the tent off and it's gonna look a bit naked and play. What do you have to say, Tate? Um, I don't know. What can I say on camera? I don't think anything I want to say can be said on camera. So it looks like we've got a couple of rust spots on the top here, so we're going to have to weld in some metal and fix a couple of rust spots. I think there's one there, and there's one hiding under the dirt over, there. over here somewhere. There you go. It seems like the body's pretty straight up in these two spots, so that's a bonus. Thanks. So now that we've got the roof rack off, the next thing we're going to do is take the garden edging flares off the car and then we're going to take the side steps off as well. Okay. Excellent. Okay, so we've just taken the guards off on the left rear side and you can actually see all the different colours of dirt from where it's all built up over the years of all the different sort of places we've been and things like that. That's it for day one. We've got the side steps off, we've got the rear bar off uh, and all the roof rack stuff. And we'll be back probably tomorrow so that we can get more stuff done and get it closer to prep. Are my feet in it? How attached to these screws and bolts are you? As long as you don't break it. The, the screws you can break, just don't break the guard. Not the guard? Okay. All right, so the next step is to take the snorkel off. We've taken out the self-tappers that went straight into the pillar. So um, hopefully that'll line up again when we put it back together. We've taken all the, um, we've taken the intake hose off that goes into the air box there. And then we've taken off this side. So we've just got a hole there at the moment. Um, I didn't actually fit this snorkel. So we're just figuring out how it's going to come off. So we've got Tate, who is currently taking off the guard under the wheel. Well, I like how the part number is stenciled into the car. The old patrol logo is still there as well. <laughs> it's a little bit of surface rust in these holes. They've got no paint on them when they were drilled. That's okay. So, we're going to do some fixing up. There's some dent in this one as well. And 
And over on the front here, this whole quarter sort of pushed in from the old ball bar, whacked into it. The old ball bar used to sit here and um, it was driven into a tree. So the ball bar bent back and squashed this in. So we're gonna take this panel off as well and we'll give it some TLC. Fix this mark and fix this and fix up all these holes and things. So it's gonna be looking brand new. The next step is to take the patrol outside, give it a bit of a rinse off, and we're gonna make room to put the Datsun on the hoist because it needs a bit of work. Guess it's time to give it a bit of a clean. It's been sitting for about three weeks, so let's see if it's not. So we've got the patrol outside ready to wash. There's a couple of things we need to be careful of because we've already taken things apart. Because we've already taken the snorkel off, we have to be careful we don't blow water straight into the airbox. So we're gonna have to tape that up a little bit up here in the pillar as well. So it's gone a little bit dark, but uh, we're doing the best we can with the light we've got. We've gotten rid of as much mud and dirt as we can. And we pretty much did that so that it's gonna be easier so that we, when we sand it and get it ready for painting, we don't have to worry about dirt as well. And also, when we're changing the suspension lift, it's going to be a lot easier when the suspension that's currently there isn't covered in dirt. So now we've got to let it dry, rinse all the mud out of the way, then we can park it back inside and move on to the next thing. We didn't clean it until after we took everything off because all the flares and the guards and everything that we had in place were just blocking all the access to the mud, so we thought it'd be easy to do it afterwards. It did leave a bit of a dirty mess on the floor of the hoist when we were doing it, but it wasn't too bad, so it's better than having to wash it twice. <laughs> 